All right, we're here at 11776 Pierce, Pierce uh, in Selmore. So we're uh, running the camera here. We're inspecting the sewer line for you over here. And what we're doing, uh, we're running the camera from the three-inch roof vent, which is the end of the line of the sewer line going up through the roof, okay? We couldn't find any clean-outs when we arrived here, but once we ran our camera, then possibly outside here in that little green box there, but then we'd clean out, which we'll check. So right now, understand we cannot check every pipe in the house. We check the main sewer line. Have your general inspector run the water everywhere, make sure everything's draining, things like that, okay? Right now, we're checking the main sewer line, and we're all the way out to the city connection. So let's pull the camera back, Al. There's the connection to the city right there. Now, this is a six-inch clay pipe coming back from the middle of the street towards the property. You see, it has little roots coming in through the coupling. It's very common you're going to find that in a clay pipe. These are very minor little roots. You see, at the, at the couplings over there. A little bit of roots coming in. These can easily be cleaned up, but would need this. Make sure this is a clean outside here, a clean out. This all looks good over here, nice and clean. Comes onto the property. It's going to change to a four-inch ABS plastic pipe. The main line coming back all the way from the property line to the where it exits the house is a ABS plastic. Now, even when a sewer line's in good condition, I always recommend you never flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, because they can get stuck in the line, and even in a good line can cause blockages. As you could see in the video, you saw a little bit of paper standing in the line. It's toilet paper? A little bit of toilet, yeah. Which is that what you expect to find in a sewer line? that the line is clean, that you shouldn't flush certain things, you know. And I'm going to explain a couple of things. I'll give you a couple of tips. So right over here, it changes to cast iron, and I think there's a clean out there. Coming back with a cast iron pipe, you can see it's got a very minor little rust buildup. Actually, in my opinion, I mean, looking at the inside of the pipe, it looks pretty clean. So that looks pretty good over there. And now we're going to come up the roof vent. <coughs> here we are on top of the roof. We'll stop the recording over here.